Okay, so today <laughs> we are going to do stem and leaf ply. We, stop. We have done a lot of organizing. We've done tables. We've done the frequency tables. That is just ways to organize your data. The bar graphs, <clears throat> that's organizing your data. Today, we're going to do the same thing with a stem and a leaf. Now, what is the most important part of a flower? The stem. The stem. The, the root. Petals. Okay. So, yeah, and then you have the leaf. You have the leaf. So this is going to be a table. You got your stem holding it together and you got your leaf. Well, can't do this without making it a boy appropriate chart. Okay, mm -hmm. you need, it's a flower, a stem and leaves on a flower. You said it's okay. like about appropriate or something. I was just making fun that it's a flower and most of you boys will probably end up drawing that flower on your paper. I can't draw a flower. I do just, okay, I'm hey, 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 hey. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to take a amount of data, we're gonna place it on a stem and leaf plot and then we're going to find things such as the mean, the median, the mode. We, don't have the we sure have, Kayla. We've also watched frogs sing about it. <laughs> now, so what we're going to do is we're going to watch, okay, we're going to create a stem and leaf plot. You told me that the stem is the most important. So if your mom gives you $25, What's the most important amount of that? The 20 or the 5? The 20, right? Okay, so if you had $19, who's more important? That 1 or that 9? Really? The 9's more important? The 19. The 1, because it's 10. It represents 10. Okay? Yeah, because... This is 10 plus 9. Well, when you said the 1 is... I know. That's why I said it that way. I gotcha. Because the number that's in the 10th place is not always going to be bigger as a number than the 1 in the 1's place. So I said when I told you 25, this is kind of like saying 20 plus Five. Are we just expanded going to be doing form. expanded form now? It's going to be kind of like expanded form. Now, I'm going to give you um, some test scores. We're going to write them over here to the side, okay? These are Moses' test scores. Moses, I just picked you. These test scores are not the best. Zero, zero, six. Stop, stop, Brady. You need to write this down. 75, 86, 83, 91, 87, 94, hey, there's a 91 on there. 88, and a 94. 84, 86, 99, and 88. Now, we're going to take that data and put it in a stem and leaf plot just to organize the data. Okay? Now, over here, I told you that one was more important Two was the more important part of your number, correct? Because mm -hmm. those are in the tens part. Now, who is the most important here? The stem or the leaf? The stem. The stem. Therefore, the ones that are in the tens position are going to be your stems. They're going to be your stems. And the ones in the ones positions are going to be the... That's it. They're going to be the leaf. I don't know what Goon decided to call this a stem and leaf plot. 
It makes sense when you get started, but it sort of sounds more sciencey than it does mathy. Now, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to circle my highest number and my smallest number. So what's my high, oh yeah, what's my highest number? My nine, my smallest number. Okay. Now stay with me because this is going, it's not hard. It's just, we got to make things ma match up. I am going to write my stems under the column. What are my stems? It's, you tens, like it's seven, eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight. How about I just do seven, eight, nine? Me yeah. Because if that is, but these really mean what? What does that really mean? 70. 70. 80. 80. 90. 90. 90. And I always say, pretend like this is a plus sign. You know the stems are the tens position. So now we're going to put the leaves in order from least to greatest. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to circle all the 70s. Anything that's 70. Well, that was fun. So my leaf for seven is going to be five. What is this value? Is it just five? No, it is 75. <coughs> okay. Well, the sevens were easy. Now, I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to go and I'm going to underline all my 80s. 86, 83, 87, 88, 89, uh, 4, 86, 88. I got a question. I have answers. Um, if there's a repeating number like 88, do you just write 8? multiple times or you, yes. you just write it. Yep, you have to write it as many times as it shows as your leaf. Yeah. So, who's my smallest? Eight. Three. Three. Okay, so he goes first. I'm going to mark him out. I'm done with those two. Then who goes? Four. Four. Now, does this mean 34? No. <laughs> no. What does this mean? Bless you. 83. 83, bless you. And 84. Okay. So, then what comes next? 86. 86. I'm going to mark it off. I'm over there. Does this mean 346? No. No. What's up, Skylar? Uh, and 4. And just one second. Okay? 70. 70. No. 87. There's another 6. Oh. Oh. I have to write it twice because there's two of them. There's two 86s. Oops. Then what? 87. 87? 88 and 88. So two 88s. Okay, in the 90s, I would have 91. Then four. 94. And nine. Oh, I don't need commas, I'm sorry. And then nine. Oh, I'll put commas in my mouth. 91, 94. You don't even need commas. I don't wow. understand. Okay? So, oh, yes. Here, uh, if you put that number on the leaf thing, uh, it would be 3,466,788. Okay. Okay. So, does this mean 149? No. No, it means 91, 94, 99. Yes. A question about the pond itself. Yeah. Will it eventually be expanded to also hold hundreds, thousands? Absolutely. Absolutely. So if he had made a 100 on here, I was going to go there. If he made a 100, what would be his seal? Ten. Ten. What would be his leaf? Zero. Yes. Yes. This doesn't mean he made a ten on something. It means he made one one hundred. So imagine your teacher. Actually. Yes. Go ahead. You had a question. Well, oh, I was. Well, I mean, I thought about it, but 
then it doesn't make any sense. What? What's the question? I don't understand the leaf part. The leaf is just your ones place. They're in order. We took the numbers they gave us for his test scores, and, and they're in order. Those are all the ones places? That's all the ones, ones because here's your tens. The stem is your tens. Oh, Remember, that's what we were talking about over here, 19. Who's more important, the 9 or the 10? I see that. Okay. Now, you have created a stem and leaf plot. Now, I want you to find the range. Well, this is easy because guess what you've done? Don't have a full word. Range. I mean, I what did you say? All I heard was moving around. Well, what's that your frogs sing about? I'm really hot. What? That's a personal opinion, Caleb. Okay, well, oh, that's weird. <laughs> All right. <laughs> did you make him in the bathroom at 1245? I did. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. You, by making a stem and leaf plot, you've placed them in order. You've placed them in order. So how do you find the range? Yeah, What's the greatest? A hundred. A hundred. What's the smallest? Seven. Yeah. You are going to subtract one hundred minus seventy-five, which is twenty-five. Some of you haven't wrote the first thing down, so do not ask questions in ten minutes. The mode? Is there a mode? Most. Uh, I forgot so what, the, what those mean. 88. 88? Yeah. yeah. But wait a minute. There's two okay. fours. Could that be one, two? No. 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 Why? It's technically, it's not just four. It's not four. Technically, it's 84 and 94. 94. Those are not the same numbers. Even though they're four or in the ones place, their their stems are not the same. So the mode would be, well, here's two 86s. Here's two 88s. Can I have two modes? Yes. Absolutely. For a second, for a second I thought it was 66 and 88. But it's not Wait, good. Wait, that's 88 and 88 equals 88. 88, that's right. I wonder if anybody was going to catch so it. So the, the mode is the um, most C number. Most C number. Remember the commode yeah. is the most used item in your house? I can't remember. Okay. Really okay. Stuff. No, I thought medium was happening. Now, let's find medium. Isn't the mean the one we don't like? Yep, you don't like the mean on me. Yeah. The median. How would I go about finding the median? Um, uh, you would have to put them in order. Or they are in order. Least the greatest to least or least to Folks. If you've got two of these, you're in luck. Because watch, I'm going from my smallest and to my biggest. Then go to the biggest, the next smallest. Wait, zero wouldn't, 100 wouldn't win, it, wasn't it? Yeah, we added it. Okay. Did you add it to yours? No. We'll do. That'll throw off your whole situation here in a minute. So, look. You go from your biggest, 100 your biggest, 75 your smallest. 99, 83, 94, not 84, 91, 86, 88, 86. Uh-oh. Wait, oh, no. We gotta add them up and divide them by two. You have to add them up and divide by two. So I just add up seven and eight? No. No, I add up 87, oh. and, 87 and 88. So 87 plus 88, 8 plus 7, 15. 8 plus 8, 175. 175. So then I have to divide that by 2. 2 are going to 17. Uh, 8, times. Eight, 8 times. 8 times leaves me 1. 8 are going to 15. 7. 7 times leaves me 1 over 2. Oh, I didn't know you were supposed to add that. Yeah, it's not equal. So you can't go into even number, uh, odd number evenly. How did you so, know? Uh, that was confusing because I thought you were supposed to add all the numbers. Huh? No, 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 no. That's mean. That's mean. You're doing the mean. We're doing the 
median, the middle, no the middle number. See, that's the middle. The number, there's two that were in the middle. There was two that were in the middle, so that's why we had to add them up and divide by the two numbers. Yeah. Did we ever do the range mode median? Yes, on this? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we're going to do the mean old mean, and let me tell you something. I'm going to show you two ways. One way, I could just go add all these up. Set them on top of each other and line them up. I could do that. We know how to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do it. Or, watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add the stems. So, 5 plus 3 is? 8. 8 plus 4? 9. 9. Uh, 8 plus 4? Uh, that's 12. <coughs> uh, wait, wait, hold on. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 <coughs> plus 6. 18. 18 plus 6, 24 plus 7, <coughs> 31 plus 8, 39 plus 8, 47, 47 plus 1, 48 plus 4, 2, 52 plus 9, 61 plus zero. 62. Okay, 61. <laughs> now, so all of my stems, I mean, all my leaves made a new stem, didn't it? Okay, now, watch what I'm going to do. How many leaves did I have under seven? One. one. So one times 70 is? 70. Y'all see what I did there? I only had one. So there was only one 70. How many eight, 80s did I have? Seven. Seven. So eight times seven? 56. So 560. Because 780 times seven is 560. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. How many, how many nine leaves did I have for nine? Three. Three? So 90 times three is? 270. So up there, how did you get the 61? Because I added all of the leaves. This is the leaves. I've added all the leaves. Okay. Okay. So, and then we have? 10. 10, which is 100. Now, some of you are like, well, Miss Skinner, it's just easier to set them up and write them out. That's fine. Here they are. Add them up. Do what you want to do with them. Mean is not ever going to get any nicer. It is still going to have to be added and divided. Okay? Yeah. So I've added the leaf. Then I've added each individual stem by how many leaves they had. So here I'm going to add them up. One. Oh, that's easy. Seven plus six. Um, Watch this. 7 and 7? 13. 14. 14 plus 6? Uh, 20. 20 plus 6? 26. 2 and 2? Uh, 4. Plus 1? 5. 10. Uh, yeah. So overall, if I were to go and add it, every one of these together, I would have gotten 1,061. Is that my mean? No. no. What do I got to do? Divide. By how many? Divide. How many? What kind of many leaves you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. What if that was uh, how actual teachers used to grade things? They used to. My mother, I remember her sitting at the bar, Jackson, and averaging grades. She would take her... She would take her her grade book, and we would sit there, and she would let me call out the grades, and she would put them in. Well. Yep. If I didn't like you, I'd, no, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. How many times would 12 go into 106? 96. Eight. Oh, not 96. Eight times minus 96, right? Yeah. 
which leaves me 10. Bring down my 1. 96 again or 8? 8 again. So minus 96 leaves me 5. So if I want to do a decimal, how many times is 12 going to 50? Uh, 4, 48. 48. So overall, what would be the mean or the average to Moses' grades? 88. He would have Just an 88.4. Now, let me ask you something. Is that not also a mode? Come on. Uh, Is it not also close to your mean? Yeah. I meant median? Yeah. I've told you that your median and your uh, median and your mean usually are very close to each other. Usually. Unless you had one bit of data, he didn't take a test, he had a zero, that would throw a lot of stuff off. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you have like an 86 on a daily grade and get like an 86 on a test, what's the difference? Like, what, what, how does one affect the other? Because your test, your test scores are 60% of your grade, where your dailies are only 40. Yeah, it's weighted differently. It's weighted. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken an old stem and leaf. This is new. And I've compared, used it for old school stuff. We've already done <coughs> mean, medium, mode, and range. Have we not? Now, what if, what if he made a 50 in here, a 50 but three, and did not have that 75? Well, then you have to add what would be my stems? Five. Five. And three eight. on the leaf. Okay. Five, eight, nine, ten. I have to, listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying because you're going to come up against this today. If this was my data and there was no seven, my stems and my leaf, it would have to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There would be no information in this data box. But then why would it be there? You have to place it. Because you got to put all your numbers on it. Okay. They have to be in order. Kind of like on the bar graphs when you have uh, to. When you had to put your data there to show there is a gap in the data. I see. You have, this was a bad day for Moses. Apparently he was partying all night and did not study. Okay? So this shows a big gap. So it would have to be, it would show that. He's usually pretty decent, but. What's up with that G? <laughs> oh, you got those two lines backwards. It just. Okay. Well, I have a question. I never studied it. Uh, range, medium, mode, to me. We could just do that. Do well, no, because they want you to do it as a stem and leaf. They want you to set. This is the new skill. Okay. I just applied it with old. We used old stuff to explain why we do the new skill. Yo. Imagine how sucky it would be if you had to make a stem and leaf plot and it was a, uh, it was like the number eleven and then it went all the way to like forty two thousand. Yeah, I know that would be pretty bad. Okay, let me ask you something else. Look, look at page two thirty two. Two thirty two. Three twenty three. I'm. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Looking at number two, they have made a stem and leaf plot out to the side. Y'all see that? Okay. And they give you a key. One with a line and zero means ten. We should know that. What's the smallest value on that stem and leaf plot? Ten. What's the largest? Forty-four. Forty-four. 44. Are you looking at page 323? Yes. Which one is it? Looking at number three. Looking at the simile plot to the right. Oh, I was looking above. The right. Looking at the right. Yeah, I see it. Okay. What would be the median? Um, not two, but. Three. Not three. 20. 32. 32. Guys, it's not just two. Yeah, oh yeah. That took me a second. It's not just two. It's not just two. 20. 
Give me that, this. No, that ain't even 20. That's just there. Okay. Tell me. Stem leaf. What's my stems? One. One. Two. two three, three. Four. Okay, what's my leaf for one? Zero. Zero, two. Zero, two. Nothing for two. Nothing? Two. Three, two. One. Four. No, 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 no. Two what? Just two. Just two. Four. One, four. One, four. One, four. Okay. So, if I'm looking for the median, smallest, biggest, next smallest, next biggest, that is what? 32. That's 32. What's my range? How would you find the range? 44. What? 44. 44 minus 10, 10 which is? 34. You got it, Xavier. What's my, okay, we said the mode was what? Let's see, number, uh, two? two? But this is 32 and that's 12. No, there right, is there, no mode. There is no mode. There is none. There isn't a mode. Oh, yay, me. Okay, now me. This is going to be a little easier. We can, because these numbers aren't too big. I'm going to, you can add them, 10 plus 12 plus 32 plus 41. I'm going to do it like I did earlier. Zero plus two? Two. Plus two? Four. Plus one? Five. Plus four? Nine. So that's my leaf. How many, so two. 10 times two, which is? 20. 20. Three times one, which is? 30. 30. 40 times two, which is? 80. 80. Y'all see how I'm getting these numbers? Because this is 10, actually. There are two of those. So 2 times 10 is 20. There is only one 30 up there. So therefore, that's just 130. Yeah, I actually wrote down on the original grid uh, yeah. times however many numbers. Good. Good. So 0 is 9. 8 and 2 is 10 plus Three is 13. Now what do I do? Divide by, Divide by five? Yeah. How many times? Well, five going to 13. Two. 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 So minus 10 leaves me three. Drop down my nine. How many times is five going to 39? Um, seven times. Y'all, minus 35, which leaves me two. Add a little decimal. Two. Wouldn't four. it be four? I was just kidding. Four. Add a little decimal. Drop it down. Five going to 40. Eight. Eight. So my mean is 27.8. Now notice, because there was a pretty good size gap here, or there was a gap, look at the difference in my median and my mean. A little bit of a difference. Okay. This is your assignment. You're going to do 9 through 18. 9 through 18. You're only making one stem and leaf plot on number 17. Um, 324, 9 through 18. You're only making one stem and leaf plot. Yeah. 